All right, guys, well, time is really flying with these puppies. I mean, they are actually turning into little dogs right now. And so as you're looking at them, you can see, like, look at the picture of this one from the side. You see how he actually starts to look like a dog right now? You know, they got some muzzle length to them. Their stop is starting to be pronounced. They're, they're uh, still a little apple-headed, of course. You know, like, see how round his head is? But look at them from the side. I mean, it's really starting to turn into a good-looking little dog. And that's really awesome to watch them start to look like a dog. And even more awesome is to watch them start to act like dogs. Now, watch these two puppies. I put them back in that box so we would have scale. You can see how big they're getting each week. You know, but watch how they're playing with each other and looking at each other. You see, they really, at this stage, they're wrestling and they're vocalizing and they're getting out and exploring the world. You can't hardly keep them put up at this point. And uh, the other thing they're doing is making lots of racket and uh, pooping everywhere. So <laughs> that's the bad part, you know. But it's really neat to get them out as a group and watch them look around, you know. Here I've taken and put them out in a, on a little blanket in my basement. And uh, we got some kids playing in the background. And they're looking around and kind of barking and carrying on. And, you know, it's really just awesome to watch them because you can see all the tendencies in these puppies that uh, are going to turn into full-blown personality characteristics as they get older, you know. Now, some of them, when you first get them out like that, first, you know, you first take them out of the whelping area and put them in the floor and the open and there's a lot of stimulation going you can see a couple of them were kind of shaking there and but that goes away real quick remember guys these dogs are 21 days which is right at the beginning of what they call the awareness and canine socialization period now normally people will kind of leave the little dogs alone at these stages and uh, just let them interact with each other and let them interact with their mom and and that's cool you know but to be honest with you uh i just like playing with puppies and so do my kids so we ain't very good at leaving them alone you know, I like to get them, and I really like to spend time with them every day. I mean, I put myself right in the mix with them, and I don't, I don't want to wait till they're seven, eight weeks old and give them a puppy personality test where I fill out a little form and I say, oh, is there, because of the results on this form, I can tell you about this puppy's personality. Nope, that's not me. What I like to do is I like to get down and spend time with them every day. I get down on the floor with them, and I talk with them, and I vocalize with them, and I let them crawl on me and lick me and smell me, you know, and we just have a big time. Time, guys and that way by the time they're six seven eight months old I mean eight weeks old you know I know real I don't have to give them a test I don't have to get a piece of paper out and a marker and 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 do little tests on them I mean I know them I literally know them I know how they feel I know how they smell I know how they respond to to vocalization and petting I know which ones are have a tendency to be a little bit standoffish and a little bit more outgoing I know which ones of them are more oral in the way that they explore the world guys there's just nothing like getting down there with the puppies and really spending some time getting to getting to know them on a personal level you know where you're really you know you're really interacting with them you know none of that fake stuff none of that standoffish stuff where you're filling out forms you know what we do is we get down there and and get dirty with them you know now uh, there's not going to be a lot of talking in the rest of this video i'm kind of just going to let you guys watch and listen to how I interact with them and listen to the noises that they make. And I think you're going to learn more from just listening to how I mimic their noises and how I try to solicit certain responses from them and watching them, watching them explore, watch them explore with their feet, watch them explore with their vocalizations, watch them explore with their mouth, you know. And uh, you're really going to start to understand a lot about puppies. And uh, hopefully these next two or three videos is really going to get you to where you're at a whole new, you know, a whole new level of, of uh, understanding. So, I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Oh. 
Oh, you're the smarties. You're the smarties. Mm. Oh, you're the smarties. Rah. Rah. Oh, oh, you're killing us with it. Oh. 